Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Colon's Law, Practice Question 3. This question is talking about the, a small, small ball, it's insulated small ball. It hanging with a silk thread and with charge is negative 0.5 microcurrent. The other, other charge is Q2, is positive 0.8 microcurrent. It's held just right, rightly, directly to the right. And uh, this situation, the distance when they balance the small ball, when it balanced, keep 18 centimeters. The mass of this small ball is 60 gram. We're looking for the angle theta and the tension. So then we can see at this situation, because of Q2 is positive charge, Q1 is negative charge. That's why they attract Q1 is attracted by Q2. Right? The, the force between these two charges attract each other, attracting each other. But we're talking about now Q1 is attracted by Q2. So the direction is go to right. is F, right? F between these two charges. And then there is another tension force and also there is gravity because this we given 60 grams so Q1, the small insulate ball can be balanced at this situation there is another force which is gravity, right? Gravity, we done. This is mg. And the tension force around the thread. So the small ball is ex exerted by three forces at the balance. So we're looking for the angle theta and looking for the tension force. First of all, we can use the Coulomb's law find the force. So force equals to Coulomb's law force equals F equals K Q and Q2 divided by R squared. That's why we can calculate the F equals 9 times 10 to the 9 exponent. This is K and then multiply Q1 is 0 0.5, which is uh, microcurrent, we can convert into 5 times, so which is, this is uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, multiply 10 to the negative 6, which is a colon, and multiply 0 0.8 times 10 to the negative 6 colon, divide the Reduce square is 18 centimeter convert to meter is 0 0.818 meter square. So we can calculate this force is nine exponent, nine exponent, multiply 0 0.5 exponent negative six multiply 0 0.8 exponent negative 6 and we got this one is 3.6 times 10 to the negative 3 and divided by 0 0.18 square well, this one is 0 0.11 so F equals 0. 1, 1, Newton. And mg, 
We also can calculate what the mg equal. mg equal this one mg equals because this is 60 grams. mg equals 60 multiply 9.8. And but this one is gram. We need to divide it by thousand to convert to kilogram, right? This is equals 0 0.06 kilogram, right? So then you come with this is equals 0 0.59 Newton. Because these three forces are balanced. So that means mg and f, the net force of F and Mg will be this force. This force will be equals exactly equal tension for these two equal, right? Because it balances. That means the net force of three equals zero. Also means two of them force. The Coulomb's, Coulomb's law calculate the force and also the mg, the gravity, these two forces, the net force of these two must be balanced with the third force T. So that's why we only calculate this force, we can find the T. So we label this as T prime. So in this triangle, we can see in this triangle, the small triangle here, or the relationship the T equals is hypotenuse, and this is the mg, this is a force, so we have T equals square root, this is a right triangle, you call mg square plus force F square, so which gave us equals to square root, is 0 0.59 square plus 0 0.11 square. Right? And we can get the answer, this one, almost equals to, say, 0 0.59 square plus 0 0.11 square equal square root, you got 0 0.6. 0 0.60 Newton. So that's why you say tension also equals 0 0.60 Newton. Right? After getting this one, then you can find the angle. What is the angle? This angle, you call this angle. Same thing. Right? This, these two angles are equal. So you can calculate angle, go to other page. The angle is the theta equals inverse 10 because this one, the opposite is F, adjacent is mg. So that's why it is inverse 10, opposite is F over adjacent is mg, which you give us Tangent inverse 10, F is 0 0.11 Newton, Mg is 0 0.59 Newton. Okay, and we can use calculate to find inverse 10, put bracket, 0 0.11 divided 0 0.59, close bracket equals 10.6. So theta equals 10.6 degree. So the force equals, the tension force equals 0 0.6 Newton and the angle is 10.6 degree. Okay. It's presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.